Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of the Caregiver and Spoonie podcast. I'm your host, Jordan Banderas. So on today's episode, we're going to be talking about chronic pain and what it's like. Now, before we get started, I want to say thank you for all the emails that we have received. I like the feedback. Thank you for the support on the Facebook page. We're growing organically, which is pretty much what I want. I want people to like this uh, organically. I don't want to push it or I don't want to do anything like that. So it's growing organically. I like it. And and, uh, and I'll be sharing more of my stories on Facebook. And uh, I'm actually thinking about starting a blog where I can give you a better insight of my life and why it has been to deal with my kind of situation. So other people don't feel alone as well. So let's get this started. Now, one of the things that it's so hard about this, especially chronic pain, is that chronic pain is hard to understand because you never know what it will do to you. It's different for everyone. Doctors don't know how to deal with it. That's the problem. People think that by taking a pill, it will go away. It never happens and it differs from regular pain. Now, my story in regards to uh, um, chronic pain started when I was like six, 17, 18 years old. I started feeling like super tired. I was so tired all the time. I felt like I wasn't sleeping. I felt like I wasn't sleeping. I felt like, uh, like I needed to sleep more. And I felt like the muscles were getting ripped out of my, uh, out of my, uh, my bones, kind of like when you eat chicken, you're just ripping the skin out or the, the meat out of the bone. It felt like that. I went to the doctor. They misdiagnosed me. They told me, oh, you just have like costochondritis or you have this or there's nothing wrong with you. It's all in your head. Like my family will say, oh, you just need to eat more. You just need to exercise more. Well, 10 years later, I was diagnosed with sleep apnea. And even though I'm not like, I'm not in that range to have sleep apnea, I have a, a, a jaw malformation that causes me to not be able to breathe correctly when I lay down. So that starves me from um, oxygen and it causes my brain to not rest. It causes my body to not rest. So it was creating so much pain. I, w- I was in so much pain. I will take um, Advil because Opiates don't do anything to me. They make me so sick, so I can't really take them. So that's the thing. I was taking so much Advil. I'm like, at one point, I'm going to damage my liver. So I stopped taking it. I was just like, I have to deal with it somehow. And I was in pain all day, so I wasn't really going out. So that's my story. So I understand what love you are going through right now. Because I felt misunderstood. Like, everybody kept saying, like, it's all in your head until I got diagnosed. And also, there's a lot of reasons why we suffer from chronic pain. My chronic pain of 10 years was caused by the sleep apnea, like I mentioned, because I was getting starved from oxygen. My body wasn't resting, so I was in, in, in agony a, a lot of times. But I feel lucky that my pain could be fixed by wearing a machine at night. Now. If I miss it one day, one night, the next day, I'm in pain. So I have to wear it every night. I have to wear this machine, this CPAP, this Darth Vader machine. It makes me sound like Darth Vader. I'm a... And, and sometimes it's too loud. Sometimes it's too noisy. But I have to deal with it unless I want to suffer the next day. So I have to... This is essential for me to, to be able to live a life and have to do it. Sometimes we have to do things like that. Sometimes we have to do things like that. So, and other people, one, one thing that we need to understand is that other people suffer with chronic pain due to autoimmune diseases like fibromyalgia, lupus, arthritis, and many more. It can also be caused uh, due to an accident, uh, trauma, a stroke, like in my wife's case. Now, The biggest issue that I want to bring to light is that a lot of people tend to close themselves off because we we are tired of being told that it's all in our heads, like I mentioned before, or just take a pill. And unfortunately, this creates isolation. 
as people feel judged or don't have somebody to talk to or we don't have the right access or the access to the right doctors or, or, or the treatment protocols because like with fibromyalgia nobody knows what causes it nobody knows how to treat it they just treat the symptom not the cause because they don't even know and some doctors don't really want to even research it because they don't have the time they only have uh they only have like 15 minutes with you so they have to squeeze whatever they can into those 15 minutes like i have mentioned in the previous episode and now unfortunately this is the hard the hard truth this leads to more depressive states and worse pain in most cases so we need to be more conscious um we need to be more conscientious sorry about judging people's pain level because when people feel misunderstood as i mentioned before it can lead to depressive states and unfortunately one thing that i also want to bring to light in this episode is that the ep- the opioid epidemic is real it's killing people people are dying because they're trying to uh, stop the suffering of pain now a lot of people will be will judge other people for taking pain pills like sometimes they have to take more or they take a, a higher dosage but you have to see it this way if you're not in in chronic pain unfortunately you won't know until you have to go to something like that that's what happened to me and one of the things that I understand with my wife and with other people that are in chronic pain is that they rather have 55 minutes without pain than 60. So if the, if a pill is going to help them for only five minutes, they rather have those five minutes without agony. They rather have those minutes without agony, without suffering. That just those five minutes. That's why. And the problem with opiates or with our body is that the opiate or our body gets used to the opiates. So that's why sometimes we have to take more and more and more and unfortunately it causes an overdose. So that's pretty much what's happening. And and because you just want to have those five minutes without agony, you're just going to take more and then you're going to take more and then you're going to take more. And unfortunately one, at one point it's going to be too much and you end up ODing or overdosing. So the next time somebody says they suffer from chronic pain, try to listen don't offer any advice unless it's asked for or the best thing that that i have been able to understand with my wife is to make sure they know that you may not understand but you you're there for them in case that they need you like if they need somebody to listen to uh, uh or to talk to sorry uh you're there for them that's pretty much what people with chronic pain need sometimes they just need to vent because they were they they were in so much pain at work they were in so or they're in so much pain they just want somebody to talk to just kind of like to let it go because if we hold all that pain in it's going to cause issues it's going to hit your mental state and like i mentioned it causes depressive states so sometimes we all all we need is somebody to talk to so we can at least have some sense of normalcy in our lives That's all we need. A little bit of normalcy. We don't want to be... Unfortunately, sometimes we have to realize that the pain is never going to go away. But we still want to have some sense of normalcy on our lives. That's the thing. That if if you can have at least those five minutes of normalcy. Where you can function for at least five minutes. Almost like a... like for example, I have a vision, and visions tend to have this vision burst. When you're in the, in no pain, you feel like oh, I can do everything that I couldn't do like ten minutes ago. So you're gonna go at it, but then you're gonna suffer. You're gonna have pain. So those five minutes give you your life back, or we get our life back for five minutes, and then after that, we will understand at one point it's hard. But we understand that we only have those five minutes. And that's why I wanted to talk to you guys about today. About chronic pain. We need to stop judging. We need to listen more. Especially doctors. Because doctors judge a lot. 
if the ER, unfortunately, I understand that a lot of people, they just go there to, fi to find pills or to seek pills, but doctors in the ER, they judge so much. It has happened to my wife so many times, and I will be talking about it uh, more. But that's it for today. I hope you guys are enjoying the podcast. Like I mentioned, uh, give me some feedback. I want to grow this organically. I want to make sure that everybody knows that they're not alone. And don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. That way we can um, get more, more people to listen to. Because unfortunately, right, in today's technology, we have the algorithm. So... If the if the podcast doesn't get any reviews or or or, um, or subscribers, uh, Apple, YouTube, I mean, yeah, the podcast platforms, uh, YouTube, Facebook, they're not gonna start promoting it. They're not gonna show it like, oh, you might like this. No. So and unfortunately, like I said, I need your help for that because this is my passion. This is my this is something that I want to uh, people to understand. Uh, how chronic pain affects people i've saw i've seen it with myself i've seen it with my wife then like i always say like if you want to share your story don't forget you remember you can do it on the on the facebook community you can send me an email at the caregiver and spoonie at gmail.com and also um and also that like i said don't forget to share like subscribe provide your feedback and oh another thing that I was forgetting I'm actually gonna start a vlog where I'm gonna I'm gonna be giving you a, a better insight of my life, like everything that I've done, I have dealt with, like how I deal with it, or more research that I have gone through. Because I don't want to talk just about myself on this podcast. It's not about me. This is about who's suffering. Like I suffer sometimes. But I know, like, my wife, she suffers every day. So I, this is more for you guys. But I'm, I'm creating that blog where I'm going to be talking about my trauma, how I deal with it, what I've learned through, through all, all this journey. And and if you like the blog, once, I, once it comes out, please let me know. And I, and I leave you with this, like I leave you always, always take care of yourself.